we're going to transition uh, from the leaders in the presidential race to a candidate who has been pretty consistently near the back of the pack, Republican Congressman Ron Paul. Because Paul surprised the political world today, his campaign announcing he'd raised $5 million in the past three months. That's more money than some candidates who've received much more notice. So here's ABC's Jake Tapper. Long dismissed as a fringe candidate, Congressman Ron Paul was all smiles today in New Hampshire. I think the time is right. People are really frustrated. Frustrated with both parties, frustrated with the war. And unlike almost every other Republican candidate, Paul raised more this quarter than in the previous one. His message is simple. If you were president, what would be your strategy for ending the war in Iraq? Just come home. We just marched in. We can just come home. Ron Paul says to a lot of people eager to hear this message, you can be anti-war and be a conservative. In fact, he says, if you're a real small government conservative, you have to be anti-war. While few observers think Paul will win the nomination, he draws young, enthusiastic crowds. And his message, not only against the war, but in favor of small government, is resonating. Including, interestingly enough, from soldiers. According to one study, Congressman Paul received more campaign cash from members of the military than did any other Republican presidential candidate. In the House, the former obstetrician votes against so many spending and government bills, he's called Dr. No. Dr. No was happy today so many voters were saying yes to his message. Jake Tapper, ABC News, Capitol Hill.